Hello everyone, my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently a full stack developer based of Toronto. Have you recently thinking of changing your career into tech but not sure whether it's a right choice or not? In this video today, I will share my strategy that determine if it's the right fit for you. When changing a career, the first question that you should ask yourself what do you want out of this career because it's gonna follow you for the next at least five six years whether you want a like flexible lifestyle where you can take care of your family or you want to travel but also want to work at the same time working in tech give you that flexibility because a lot of company allow employee to work remotely anywhere in the country and anywhere in the world in my case i've been like a software engineer for almost two years and i only been to the office less than 20 times company give that flexibility because they trust the employee but also working remotely is a new norm you don't necessarily has to be physically in the office in the past i work in finance so a lot of the time i need to stay in the office to work on a lot of paperwork or meeting clients and also talking with different department if you work from home you can go cooking on your lunch time instead of eating up the food and eating pizza having worked in tech for almost two years now i literally travel anywhere that i want without any restriction i usually travel to another city i work in the morning and i travel at night you can literally visit rome in the morning work in the beach in the afternoon when you figure out the career that you really love you don't actually feel that is work because you have all of the energy and all the passion when you do the work you just work after that you enjoy a certain aspect of your life like traveling meeting new people in a different country the second question do you want a career or do you hate boredom like to learn new things learning different skill set every single day working in tech can be your solution by working in tech every company every department has to innovate because the market change every single day the new version coming up all the time so the developer need to know the new most up-to-date they can upgrade the app but also as a product managers and product owner also have to keep up with the product behind that technologies a few years ago have you noticed any food delivery app exists but now everywhere around your city there's a food delivery company having that said keep up with the industry and increase your value proposition because the more you know the more you earn when working in finance i follow the rule and regulation and procedures with repetitive work every quarter however in tech a lot of my energies actually focus on what i want to learn next what is the interesting technology out there that i need to do research instead of complain about what i don't like determine whether you are eager learner you want a stable work the third side is are you a gamer in my case when i was young i'm literally like a day-to-day -day gamers because i feel a really strong accomplishment when i level up in my games it's exactly the same as working in tech especially for software engineer at first you might feel that learning coding is very difficult you all by yourself a bunch of coding syntax on the screen and you might not understand it might take you like five to six months to just to know the technology but once you get the hang of it you feel more comfortable looking at the code learning how to code and playing game is the same strategy at first you might feel really confused and no idea what exactly it is the more you put yourself to learn and trust the process after a couple months to a year you feel really confident about your skill one day you will become an expert in your field when i first started mobile app development i have no idea how to develop a mobile app after two years being in this field i feel really confident of starting a project giving recommendation to stakeholder and my client is exactly playing game a newbie asks you how to play the game that you already play for a year or two don't have any issue sharing your knowledge teach them how to play the games the four question that you can ask yourself do you love working with people when i ask people around me what is your first impression about software engineer or working in tech people was like you sit in the front of the computer all the time and you don't have to talk you just have to code all day in fact that is not a reality it's because working in tech you have to work with different stakeholders all the time this is like a general process of being a software engineer first of all 
you have to talk with a client to understand their needs and what kind of feature that they want to have on their website and their mobile app. After gathering some information about fact, then you also have to research, talk with different people on your team to determine the best technology to apply to this product. Then you also have to talk with product owner to design a strategy around this product. Do you need a designer for this feature that you want to build? When you have all strategy in place, you also have to design so that the junior developers can work on the product. Then you also have to communicate with the project managers how much time you need for these features. After you've developed your app or website, the last day the app on the website need to be test usually performed by QA person who test as a user but also make sure all of the function in place working properly. Sometimes you think of the features, it could take a few months to finish being a developer. Actually improve a lot of my different skill set, not only the technical skill, I have to learn different languages, how to communicate effectively with different stakeholders. When you talk with project managers and product managers, not necessarily understand all the technical terms, you have to talk as a plain language so those are a really important skill being a developer is just not coding all the time but working different stakeholder i'm pretty sure you watch a lot of youtube video about software engineer and making six figure salary this is actually achievable as long as you're willing to put in the time your salary is also based on your level if you are a junior or you are a senior if you got a job at like some big tech company they usually the salary is, is really high. Being in tech is actually a really competitive field because a lot of smart people actually work in tech. Whether you want to go to a fang company, you actually have to put in a lot of time just to learn the coding interview. It takes around six months to a year, depends on the effort that you put in. In my case, my tech job pay way more than my finance job. If I'm in finance, I probably has to be a manager level to earn the amount that I earn, I'm earning today. You might have a question why people in tech earn that much of the salaries. The first reason is to be in tech, you actually have to put a lot of the time even before you get your first job finance i don't necessarily has to have a lot of experience i just have to communicate really well during an interview all of the skill set that i can learn after i got a job but it's not the case in software engineer is when you get into the interview you actually has to know a lot in order to answer all of the technical questions during doing a coding interview and explain your strategy behind on the coding when i do interview it took me three to four hours per coding interview. This could be stressful situation because I put a lot of time and effort, but the reward pay off at the end of the day. When you heard about earning six figure salary, you need to consider how much effort they already put in or they get that job. If any sign above can relate to you, leave in the comment below. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. But also congratulations some of my audience got their first job in tech. Stay tuned for the next video guys.